what you can see here is a pain junction diode. At P region, the charge carriers are holes and at the end region, the charge carriers are free electrons. Near the junction, the free electrons of the end region will be attracted by the holes of the P region and this is called diffusion. As a result, there will be a net negative charge in the P region and net positive charge in the end region. Now we can observe an electric field from N region to P region across the junction. When more electrons tries to diffuse across the junction, it will experience two forces simultaneously. One is due to the holes of the P region and the other is due to the electric field. If the force due to the holes is greater, more number of electrons will be diffused across the junction. At equilibrium, the force due to the holes will be equal to the force due to the electric field. Thus, no more diffusion of the electrons will happen. Now, we can see a space near the PN junction where there is no charge carriers. This region is called depletion region. At the depletion region, N region is at higher potential and P region is at lower potential. This potential difference is called barrier potential.